Good morning guys, it is Saturday and we've got a couple of tool heads crates to unveil for May and June, which I didn't do for you. It's gonna be a quick one and a quick lot update, so stay tuned. So seeing as how I haven't given you guys a tool heads crate uh, unboxing for a little bit, I've got two of them to do. Uh, I'm not sure which is which, um, but I think May's is the tire one and June is the other one. So let's get into that and we'll show you what Toolheads Crate has to offer for the last two months. Okay, so as we get into uh, box number one here, this is May's. And the very first thing that I wanna do is I really wanna thank um, US Postal Service for their undivided care and attention to getting these boxes shipped out with very, very, very minimal damage, um, you know, because it really wouldn't be right if I got the box in a reusable condition because you know they're, they're single purpose and we're not trying to save the planet here. We just we just want to get our guys these tool heads crates and have them be happy when they get them. So yeah, big shout out to uh, the U.S. Postal Service for this piece of crap job of shipping that they did for this one. Okay. So as we open the box, there's a couple of things that we noticed right off the bat. Once again, more shop rags. We can always use more shop rags. We got a tool heads beer koozie, I mean uh, beverage koozie. And this week or this month's um, kit is based on tire care. So as we look into uh, these tools here, and that one that's got a magnet on it. So what we have here is a tool heads crate tire pressure gauge. I mean, guys, we can always use a couple more of these around the shop because, you know, we're always losing them. We've got a uh, valve core something. I've never really seen one of these before. I don't know what it's for, but I do know that if you put a uh, valve stem through the wheel, screw it on here, you can use this to kind of pull it through the rim uh, without damaging the rim. So I assume that's what that's for. Um, I have no idea what these ends are for. Maybe just a core remover of some sort or uh, letting the air out. Anyways, we got one of these. We've also got a tread depth uh, measurement tool. And one thing I like about this uh, particular tool is that it does give you the warning in yellow and the fail in red. So that if you're measuring a tire and uh, it measures at anywhere is two thirty seconds or less, then you know your failure. Uh, not that you are a failure, but the tire is. So anyways, the green is all good if you're driving big truck tires. They usually come with 12 or 16, 30 seconds uh, or a half inch of tire tread. And these uh, will go right down to five and four and three as you spin them around. So that's a good tool to have. Even if you're not a mechanic, you can keep one of these in your car and uh, occasionally check the tread depth on your vehicle to see how close to having to replace those tires you are. This one here is a uh, core remover tool for your valve stem. Those are neat to have, come in very handy. Also. We've got this telescoping uh, magnetic tool for uh, you know picking things up when we're dropping stuff down inside the engine compartment. Everybody can use one of those. And a couple of mini pry bars. These are just cheap ones, but nevertheless, we can always use those as well. We've also got some uh, Ding. mittens uh, for those of you who wear um, gloves while you're doing your work. Uh, helps keep your uh, fingers clean and keep out grease from out underneath your fingernails. These are a package of six. This one's large, so they should fit me fine. Um, and speaking of Ding. mittens, you've got this uh, decal that says just that. Also, Kyle, the Rust Belt mechanic, has included in his uh, in this kit this month is his little logo for his channel, the Rust Belt Mechanic Skull with the wrenches. Uh, and the beard, I like that. So uh, we'll get that up on the toolbox along with uh, this one as well. We've also got a um, tire pressure monitoring system for GM vehicles. So this is your activation tool uh, for GM vehicles. We do a lot of uh, tires here as well. So I'm gonna probably be leaving this one right here at the shop and uh, that way it's a quick uh, way to reset those tire pressure lights uh, on those GM vehicles. And last but not least, 
is a uh, P10 catalog. So this is for some of your automotive tools that we can uh, look through that. We'll be uh, browsing through this one and seeing exactly what kind of uh, options there are as far as uh, specialty tools, uh, lifts, uh, stuff like that, air hoses. So uh, I'll let you know uh, how we make out if we order anything from this. So there's the May toolbox crate and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to use uh, that tool right there and uh, that will definitely be going down to the camper. Now for box number two. This is June. This is the one that would most recently have been sent out to us and USPS has got this one in a little better condition. A uh, little bit of damage here on this corner. No big deal. They're trying folks. They've only been around for 150 years. Okay, we open this one up and we got red, white, and blue shop. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Just in time for the 4th of July celebrations. Red, white, and blue shop rags. Way to go, guys, on that one. I see we got ourselves another beer koozie, so I can have one down at the trailer as well as one at home. And this is stuff, if you guys are changing brakes and you're not greasing up your sliders in your brake calipers and stuff like that, this is high-performance brake lubricant. This is a couple of uh, packages. Uh, should be enough to do uh, one set of brakes all the way around your car if you're using a four-wheel disc. And uh, yeah, so this is a really neat product. Hopefully uh, we get a chance to use that at the shop, see what it works like, and uh, maybe we start ordering it uh, in bigger sizes. Got a couple of uh, metal hooks that are plastic dipped Not sure what we could use those for, but uh, I'm sure we'll find something around the shop here. We've got another magnet here with a uh, pry bar on the end of it, tool heads crate, and a couple of uh, you know these cheap little disposable brushes, and that would be for uh, you know putting the uh, lubricant on uh, on your brake uh, calipers and such. And this is uh, this is a good one here, YouTube certified mechanic. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of those guys out there who are uh, <laughs> who have no license, but they're telling you how to do your job, kind of like me on this channel. Uh, anyways, that's a pretty neat sticker for the toolbox. We've also got one from uh, Motivex Tools, and Motivex Tools offers some really good quality tools, from what I understand, at a really discounted price. So that's one for the toolbox, and as you can see here, uh, is a catalog where they're offering this 20-piece metric master set for just $25.97 in uh, U.S. funds, I would assume. And if you go to uh, this website here, motivextools.com forward slash toolheads, and you will get it for that introductory price. I might have to go check that one out. And inside this little box is a really neat product. It's one of their uh, flexible U-joint uh, style sockets in the uh, quarter inch drive. And one of the neat things I like and that I've noticed about some of these Motivex tools is the edge of them are ridged. All of their sockets have ridges on them. And I can only assume the reason for that is so that if it's uh, if you set it down and it wants to roll away, it's only going to roll so far before it stops on those ridges, unlike regular sockets that are smooth that just roll away from you across the floor. That's a pretty neat idea. We will be getting some use out of that. Uh, a little bit overkill, I think, on the packaging maybe, but nevertheless, we, uh, we appreciate it. Oh, there's their little logo on the... Uh, burned into the styrofoam because I'm sure that really smelled good when they did that. Last but not least is this month's Toolhead t-shirt. Now you'll notice that in last month's there was no t-shirt simply because I'm sure that uh, that tire pressure reset tool was a little more expensive than, uh, than a t-shirt is. So There's the uh, Toolhead's crate logo and on the back is a really neat uh, for uh, July, uh, the red, white, and blue American flag made out of sockets and wrenches, or sorry, uh, nuts and wrenches. That's pretty cool. So uh, I'll wear that one with pride. You all know that I have some American ties, so I will, uh, I'll appreciate uh, being able to wear that around town. So let's go take a look at some cars. So before we go outside, we've got two vehicles right side by side here in the shop that you've probably already seen in the background that are getting ready to hit the lot, likely today. And the first one, is this 2014 Kia Rondo. Now I have shown these vehicles before. Those of you who are in the States do not see these. This is basically a five passenger and seven passenger wagon uh, made by Kia that uh, is very utilitarian. 
It's got lots of room, it's lots of head clearance, and uh, the older crowd loves these cars because of the ease of getting in and out of them, and they get really good fuel mileage, and they're not bad as far as style goes either. As we come over here, we've got the 2011 Chevy Malibu. This is a black one, just like the black one we had a few uh, months ago, or about a month ago, and uh, this one will be getting ready to hit the lot here today once it gets cleaned up as well. Now I'm pretty sure I already showed you guys the 2010 Chevy Cobalt, low mileage 125,000 kilometers, in uh, really good shape. This one has hit the lot and is ready to roll. Now the only thing new that's actually hit the lot, I've showed you this while it was in the shop, is this 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe XL all-wheel drive limited. And limited basically means it's got everything. It's got the heated and cooled seats, the panoramic sunroof, the big wheels and tires and we put brand new brakes and brand new tires all the way around on this thing this is a beauty of a vehicle i love this rig it drives really really nice because of the longer wheelbase and uh, it uh, has all the creature comforts that anyone would ever need including that heated steering wheel for the winter time i love that so guys that will conclude this episode of old car auto guy i hope you'll tune in next time Keep in mind that Old Car Auto Guy is sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. This beard has a sponsor. Yes, it does. Their link is in the description box below. Also, if you want to get your very own Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts, you can head to the first link in the description box below. There's two there to choose from, and you can uh, help support this channel in more ways than just watching and commenting on these videos. Guys, the Car Guy and Six Fan Show will be on Straight Six Fans channel this week on Thursday evening, 7 o'clock Central, 8 o'clock Eastern, 9 Atlantic. And we have a very special guest that's going to be joining us. You can tune into that, and I hope that we'll see you there. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again real soon. Summertime.